Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you're notified of all our future videos. Also, if you do enjoy this video and it gives you either the answer to your question or teaches you something new, again, don't forget to give it a like and it'd be greatly appreciated by us. So the topic of today's, um, uh, today's video is to show you how you can calculate the future value uh, using the FV function available in um, Excel. The purpose of the function uh, allows us to enter uh, four um, pieces of information and what it will do, it will allow us to again equate what the future monetary value of something will be. Uh, so to give you an example, I'll show you what I've got on the screen at the moment, talk you through it uh, and then obviously you can, uh, we'll then go through obviously how you actually input this into your Excel. So what we've got is we can see our starting balance is £100, so let's just, um, where applicable, uh, copy our formatting so it makes a bit more sense so just do it to there okay so we can see our starting balance is a hundred pound I'm just going to get rid of that one to start so we can see our starting balance is a hundred pound if we have an interest rate so uh, of five percent so this is our interest rate we're going to be earning on our hundred pound starting balance uh, every year and we invest that money at five percent for one year our future value will be a hundred and five pounds and twelve pence so what this basically does it equates what five percent is of our hundred pounds and it works out based on obviously your pay or earning interest every month uh, throughout that year so that's why you can see our value is slightly just over the hundred and five Pound because obviously we know 5% of £100 is £5 and we can see we've got some extra change there uh, totaling 12p. If we had to change, uh, increase our years, you can see that if we put in here 5 years, that how that Im impacts our future value, what we've got in row 10, so it now goes up to £128, uh, £128 sorry. and alternatively we could change our interest rate, so we could maybe change this to 7% and then we can see what that value would be. The main purpose of this is whether you're investing your money or you're just trying to work out what something could be compounded to in the future, then this again is a great function that allows you to see what that value would be. Uh, and most importantly really for like comparing obviously different interest rates and also comparing the differences in years. Uh, so we can see again if we were to go put 10% into our interest rate how that would impact it as well. The monthly contribution bit, what we've left out. So let's just go back to some simple numbers. Uh, we'll leave it at 10%. We'll put it back to one year. Uh, so we can see our future value at the moment would be 110.47. So we can enter in here a monthly contribution. So this is going to be how much additional we're going to be comp contributing every month to our starting balance of £100. So let's say £5. So obviously we've got a starting balance of 100 if we were to uh, add £5 to this starting balance every month, 12 months in the year, that's £60. By default, without any interest, we would then have a grand total of £160. But because we're going to be also earning interest every month uh, at 10% for this whole year, you can see what our future value actually turns out to be. Uh, so again, this is another way you can do it. Alternatively, you can obviously change this. So you could put maybe £10 contributions a month uh, or so on and so forth. Doesn't seem a great deal of interest when you look at one year, but let's say we're going to really scale this up and look at over 20 years. Um, and interestingly enough, if I get rid of that, you can see that if you had £100 and you didn't put any other contribution to this and you just made 10% a year, your initial £100 would turn into £732 after 20 years. So quite interesting there. But again, by putting in the contribution, you can just see how that future value is really impacted if you start adding £5 a month. And you can see it's now gone up to uh, four and a half thousand pounds just from obviously sparing that five pounds. So you can really see that the purpose and the benefit of building a template like this is allows you to really juggle the numbers and play around so you can get to that uh, desired, shall we say, future value that you're after. So what I'll do is just clear these values down and then we'll start afresh by putting them in and show you how it's done. Okay, so we've now got a blank template. Uh, obviously, you can recreate this yourself. There's nothing more going on here other than a bit of formatting and a bit of a summary at the top here. So the first thing we need to do is to enter some basic uh, numbers. Just helps to know that the function is working properly. So I always start with a starting balance of 100, just a nice easy round number. Con monthly contributions we can leave blank. And the interest I'll set at 10%. And you can just see I've done some formatting in these cells to get the pounds in the 10%. And we'll just go for one year. 
So the first thing we'll do is we do that equal sign and we enter the letters FB, what stands for future value, open our brackets and we can see we have an on-screen prompt for us to use. So the first thing we have and um, what we have to do is uh, it asks for the rate. So the rate refers to the interest rate. So all I need to do is select the interest rate here. And what we're actually going to do, and it kind of gets a bit complicated, but just, just go with it, is we want to calculate interest uh, every month. So what will happen is it will say £100, um, obviously in the first month we're going to earn X percent, and that will gradually build up throughout the course of the year. So as a whole year, we're going to earn like an APR of 10%. So all we do is we go divide by 12, so we can see that we are going to earn, what's that going to be? Um, 0.83 of a percent uh, each month, if my maths is correct there, uh, quickly. Um, so that's what it does. So that's how it can, uh, calculates over the course of the year. This particularly comes in, obviously, not handy, but comes in importance when you're doing monthly contributions, because it's obviously going to work out how much uh, each contribution should account for in terms of the interest. So once we've done that, we just do a comma. And this time we're going to go and select our years, so the N per, so sounds a bit of a hard one to remember, but just needs to go to your years, it's going to be one. And what we're going to do here is we now times this number by 12. So it seems a bit confusing why you need to divide the N times, but in essence what's going to happen is it's going to divide the C7 by 12, so we get our, as we said, uh, point, uh, zero or point, yeah, point zero, oh, point eight three percent sorry, each month. And then what this is then basically saying is they're going to be, there's this many um, uh, calculation intervals, to put it bluntly, in our period, or more importantly, it just tells us that obviously rather than just being one, there's 12 months within our current calculation, and each month has to obviously be times or looks an interest rate of that 0.83%. So again, I hope that sounds clear. Um, there's lots of information you can find when you just Google this function online. So if you are getting confused at all point, that's where you can go. Alternatively, if you follow, follow this instruction um, as I'm actually putting it in, you'll have no problems at all. Go into comma and we can get our PMT. So what this refers to is our monthly contribution. So what we're going to do is just select uh, C6, because that's just what's going to contain our monthly contribution one more comma, and then we're going to select our starting balance, what is this PV option here. So in essence, you don't, PV uh, is an optional uh, uh, entry point, you could just leave this blank. So if you just wanted to know, okay, forget starting balance, I just want to know if I do monthly contributions at a uh, percentage increase over a number of years, what would the value be? Uh, but the start and balance, I personally like using it. I think it's quite helpful to have. Uh, obviously, you could just put it at zero if you didn't want to have a starting balance of 100. So I just always include it in my uh, in my function when I'm using future value. And the type at the end there, not going to be looking at that uh, in this example. But again, if you have a Google of the FV function, you'll find obviously no end of tutorials will go in more depth and hopefully keep it simple uh, for understanding than I will probably be able to get across in this video. So once you've uh, entered those four parameters, close our brackets and hit enter. Uh, and this is particularly really good why this template and this order I've got everything in is particularly useful because it allows you to hopefully just jump across and obviously just follow this video along as well. Now you can see by default it gives us um, a negative number uh, and that does that because it's in including all these values and it's looking at it as like a diminishing amount rather than an increasing amount. So what I do in mine again is I just simply go into these last two uh, parameters, so C6 for monthly contribution, and just enter a negative sign, and I just do another negative sign in front of C5, what's my starting balance, and then this way it gives me a positive so I can see what my starting balance is going to be increased to uh, in terms of the future. So again, to follow this along, that's the best way to do it. And that is, is all you need to do. And once you've got to this point, you can play with the numbers as much as you like. And as I touched on earlier about starting balance, if you did want to have it zero, all you've got to do is leave that blank. And then all will happen now is you can then put your monthly contributions to whatever you desire. So maybe it's £10. And you can see that how that £10 is going to accumulate over a period of time. And again, play over years and so forth. Again, to talk about in terms of the finance aspect of this, it's a really useful tool, again, to help demonstrate what compound interest is. Um, 
In terms of compound interest, if you're not sure about it, <laughs> once again, I've mentioned it a few times already, have a Google if you're not sure about what compound interest is, but compound interest is the real power of how your money grows when it's being invested. So if you've got £100 and you make 5% on that in the first year, you're going to end up with £105. So next year, you're not going to have when you go into your second year, rather than again earning only 5% on £100, you're now going to be earning 5% on £105. So you're now going to start earning interest on your interest. And this is where this calculator comes, calculator comes in that shows you the true benefit of using it. And just to do an example for that, since I've touched on the subject, if I put interest rate to zero and we look at 10 years and we say, OK, we're going to have a starting balance of £100, you can see that, well, OK, £100 and we're going to contribute £5 a month. So not, nothing too significant. And we can see that after 10 years, our money is going to be worth, or we're going to amass a pot of £700 from simply initially saving £100 and then adding £5 every month. You see it gets to £700. If we incorporate interest into this, and let's just put this 700 just to the side so we can reference it in a second. Uh, 700. So that was our starting one. So if we now add interest, so even just 5%, you can see that our money has increased by an additional £241. And that's taken no more input from us or required us to contribute no more money. But obviously, because we've got that 5% interest, what's being compounded every single one of those 10 years, it really increases the money that we're earning. And again, if we even go up to like 7%, and I believe 7% is actually the average stock market return um, uh, over a long period of time. You can see, again, our, if we earn 7% on average over these 10 years, because obviously one of those years you might earn more interest than that or less, you can see that actually you're now going to make an additional £300 just from including interest in that. So apologies at the end there and actually throughout the video I've sidetracked a bit and gone into the actual more uh, the benefit of interest and sort of touching on investing but the main purpose of the video was to show you how you can use that uh, or introduce you uh, to a new function in Excel and also if this is something you've been trying to look into or you've been trying to work out with a sort of many little miniature formulas within Excel this is the function to use if you want to work out your future value. So if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. Uh, not only is it very beneficial uh, to the YouTube algorithm, algorithm and boosting our channel, it also shows me the content that you like and anything that you want to see more of. Lastly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, lots of videos on the channel uh, already, but there's going to be lots more coming out. So you don't want to make sure you miss those. And also hit that bell notification button again so you're doubly notified as soon as a new video comes out. So thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorized together. So make sure you check those out and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.